All right, all right, all right. Jamal here. Welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within 10 year anniversary run, where we are heading into the first UFO crash site that we shot down. It is day seven, which means if we do this successfully and get enough loot that we can sell in the grey market, we are able to get four satellites for the first month. At least it is still feasible to do that in order to keep as many countries in XCOM as possible. Sadly, our already promoted heavy uh, little Bulbix is on the sick bay, so we don't have rockets for this mission. Um, so we are going in with two rookies, our, uh, our sniper and support. So uh, let's go in, uh, taking, taking the grenades uh, instead of one one medikit, because we need all the utility we can. And uh, let's see. Let's go for the first UFO. So we will have the we will have the outsider to deal with. Touching down. Was it was it called outsider? I honestly can't remember. It's not overseer. It's outsider, right? Uh, but it's only it's only sectoid. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. This map is pretty good for us. It looks uh, like the UFO went down in a densely populated area within the city limits. Let's just hope everyone on the ground stayed clear. Well, sometimes you get these crash sites on like those very open areas in the in the woods, which can be really hard when you don't have a squad sighted sniper yet. But Operation Severed Grown. This is uh, this is alright for us. Yeah, the outsider is the dangerous one. As soon as we see them, uh, six hit points or so, maybe even more, I don't remember. We need to take them out immediately. Uh, I see Meld there. I see Meld there. The UFO is that away. Um, I see the other Meld there, so because of the coloring, Coloring here, we have a good vision on the fog of war on the melts, but the melt is so like if we get it nice, and uh, we really don't care about it. Like if we if we get it one hundred percent safe, we we will. So I think this one here is the more likely that we could get safely, because this is uh, this is open. This one is open to the UFO, which is there in the fog. So it's so close that uh, we're probably gonna be fighting all the alien groups when that happens. So let's try to get the sniper in a position where they could potentially shoot or stay in and shoot like this corner here. They have lines of fire tear and lines of fire tear. Even that we don't have the squad site yet, We'll, we would like to use the sniper rifle as much as possible. Um, let's let's see. Um, we have a little bit of a high ground there. That would be great for a squad sided sniper, but not so useful for us. Uh, we have like health uh, full covers on this edge, heading that away. So I think I will kind of carefully. Carefully see if we could uh, not get aliens from there, but if we do, then of course we fight them. And uh, I think I would be willing to check like this area, but not that one. So we want to go for the meld, maybe engage aliens here. Uh, but it's uh, it's a little difficult for us. Mm, without uh, without the rockets, we don't have many options. We don't have many options, so uh, let's uh, let's see how this goes. I will take one of my guys to kind of this this corner here to check things next turn. So let's go. Actually, let's go with you here. Heading to that location. See if we trigger aliens immediately in the first turn or first moves. And now that that was clear, um, yeah, I think the, I I plan to go there with uh, with uh, 
sniper. So I will just check this for vision and we will not go any further than that with anyone. Moving. And uh, just in case we get a random moving alien crew, I will watch and uh, see when we, what we do next turn. That is very good, especially if we get overwatch shots that hit. Brilliant start for that rookie, love it. Only two. Only two. Uh, I I wish they would be the other way around, so that we could grenade, grenade kill one, and then uh, kind of try to shoot the other one. Uh, right now, where they are, they are not in great position. They are in full cover, uh, fully. So I think what I could do is just hide in these two positions and kill them kill them when this guy does the mind merge uh i could go here and hunker down uh get closer for grenade uh these guys came from here so it's unlike it's a little bit less unlikely that uh, there would be another group here so i think this could be an option getting closer to them. I would hunker down, I think. Um, there could be another group in here. It's quite... No, oh, it's not close. To the, I was about to say it's quite close to the edge, but it's not really. Uh, triggering like a group of three right now would be pretty disastrous. But I kind of need this angle have shots with the sniper next turn so I think I need to take this and then we we do what we yes, do if this triggers another group okay that's great that it didn't um, of course we are not out of it yet if I if I commit to this one which I think I will as I said actually it's an alien group would have to be like there to activate because we are not we are not going here to activate that side, so I think this is good. But of course with XCOM you, you never know. And then, so we have two guys hunkered down, and then I could have... Well, I guess I could have you hunkered down as well. Uh, or even the rookie, now that I think about it. I'm on it, Commander. Hunkering down because we, we don't have good shots this turn yet. Uh, with the support, we can't get to a good position. Good position, so let me see. Is the, uh, we could get in complete hiding here. But I think they can come... They can go to that corner and they would shoot him. So I'm not gonna dash all the way in there. So instead I think I will just hide. I'll just hide with you. And um, you will overwatch for additional aliens and everyone else will hunger down. Which will make the aliens mind merge and then we die, try to deal with them after that. Oops, nope, not grenade. Down, down. No mind merge. No mind merge, but they are both on Overwatch. One hundred percent sure. We have a guaranteed kill on this one with the grenade. So I think we will have all the shots we have on the other guy, who is actually in health cover. So this worked better than. Better than I expected. Um, we'll try that with the sniper. I'm doing a headshot because we might get like free damage shot, and this makes it more likely for us to do four in case we do hit. So let's start with this. Not even close. Okay. 
Um, all the options. Uh, I wanted to try that without the grenade to save the grenades for later, but I think right now I will use two grenades on these guys. Uh, killing that guy with a grenade. And then um, I think I will save it in a way that I will get this guy with the support. Uh, so we'll run. No, 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 don't move, don't move. I almost did it. I almost did it. They are overwatch, you dumbass. <laughs> I almost clicked. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't click. <laughs> Don't click. Um, and we get this guy with support's grenade. It's really close. We can. Okay, support has a kill on this guy with the grenade. So what we will do is we will try a shot on the health cover guy. And uh, the rookie will try to shoot the other one in full cover. Oh wait, 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 wait. What if, what if we fail this? Right, we still, we still kill this one with the grenade, and we'll try to, we'll try two shots on that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what we do. So fifty percent. Nice, 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 nice. So this one got an overwatch hit that damaged one, and now they got a kill as well, so promising start for a rookie. So now we can have a totally free 40% chance, 40% attempt, because we have a guaranteed kill with, uh, with a um, grenade. But I will do this with a pistol, uh, so we don't waste a turn on reloading in case this... Uh, and it's the same chance, basically. Sadly, sadly, no hit there. So we tried the 40 percenter, it, it failed. So we get to kill with, uh, with a grenade. It was somewhere, somewhere in here. Uh, right there. Granata lanciata. Very, very nice. Very, very nice start there. Uh, in order for us to get in there, we need to go forward. Uh, this rookie is pretty fast. I think they have the bonus move. Uh, let me see. Do they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They are really fast. Nine tiles. Yeah, that is that is brilliant. Love it, love it. Good stats and uh, and movement as well. So let's go. We removed all the cover, but let's take this move. If this fails, we'll just uh, if this triggers, someone will just come back. Moving. And uh, if it doesn't, we have an option to go for the melt uh, melt next turn. So we know that the support can just run after them. Uh, but I will leave them on Overwatch, just just in case we get someone joining this. I am not moving you. We'll reload you instead. Uh, the sniper. I think I will reload now. Yeah, reload now, and then uh, you guys Overwatch in case we get someone uh, joining us. It's not great to use two grenades on the first pack of two, <laughs> far from it, but uh, it is it is what it is. And can the support reach the melt? Not quite. Moving. Okay, excellent. No no alien aliens from this one. I kind of like it. We could reroute and head for the other melt, because uh, of course we will get the melt if it's uh, if it's given to us. So to speak. So let's uh, let's head towards it a little bit. Head towards it a little bit, and uh, but let's not trigger like this side just yet. So we'll keep you there, but we'll uh, we'll move like back. Uh, yeah, we, we moved on that side, so this will not trigger 
trick or anything new. Uh, let's not go tear. Uh, let's move you. Nope, let's not move you tear. Sniper. Sniper, I guess, would be... We want the sniper like in here, even coming from this side. So Roger I think that. I will uh, take this first. I will leave the support and you on Overwatch in case someone comes from there now. Yes, Claire, we, uh, we got the UFO. It happened immediately after the abduction on the seventh day. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go scouting, scouting, and seeing if we can go forward. Okay. Uh, unless the aliens move here. Affirmative. Moving out. Uh, I don't expect an uh, alien crew on this side now. We are kind of uh, doing a loopy loop for the melt. Uh, I, as I think about it, I should head like a couple of guys more directly to it. But I will get this guy That's here now for an Overwatch, and then uh, we'll go. Uh, we'll go next turn. I'm I'm going carefully. We already have one melt. One melt. We got one melt from the first mission. So. I'm not rushing for this in any way. Quiet. Do you hear something? Okay. Let's do it in a way that let's go let's go forward kinda aggressively and check a check the frontal position. Uh if we see an alien, I think that could be a good one to hunker down as well. Okay, no one's here. Let's do the same. In theory, aliens can be anywhere on the map, but this corner is quite unlikely, I'd say. Aye, aye, Commander. With XCOM, uh, there's never such Keep thing up. and never such thing that uh, guaranteed that something will happen. Let's do a loop from here instead of going from that side, because it might again. It's a little bit closer to the others. Uh, I will just come here instead of overwatching, but not not go into any tiles that might have additional aliens. And because that corner is not clear, I will I will not rush for that either. Extremely unlikely to have aliens here. And now that the meld is gone, all the all the even remote rushing is uh, is over on my way so we will approach we will approach like the melt canister here and even take advantage of all the things in here because that truck can give us full cover a little bit of a flanking angle uh, Let's see, I think this is Moving. as much that away as I want to go right now. And let's just follow I'm that rolling. that gong line here and do an overwatch creep. Roger. Roger that. Scanning. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Come get some. <laughs> You hear that? Let's continue to go just towards the edge of the map here. We have a really good scout on Hellraith. I kind of hope, I'm not sure which class I would prefer, maybe Assault. Because they, they can do crazy run and gun if they are Assaults. Like insane, <laughs> insane, uh, insane kind. Um, in theory, this could be. Rolling. 
triggering aliens from there that they didn't, so we are not taking any chances. Don't think I've ever been on this map before. Um, yeah, it's a uh, the city city maps on UFO crashes are are really nice. Uh, I think I've seen this map before for sure. And there's at least two I remember that are kind of similar. Um, okay, let's do. Good to go. Let's take the sniper here first this time. And let's take you here to this now. side. So I'm taking one one here. I will now start moving the guys forward so that we have kind of these these full covers in use towards that. But we'll have at least one guy from here. Um, one guy from here uh, who preferably has a grenade. I think I'm taking the rookies. Moving out. Rookies to the side, and then the sniper will go like in here. Support would then go there. So I'm waiting, waiting this turn before I go forward. Uh, we can just take you there oh, now because that was safe. And we'll take you just next to them. Not go, not go that way. Because sometimes the one tile is the uh, is that trigger. Just carefully forward, no rush. And now one one last move, and well, not last move, but one one more move towards the edge here. I think I will. Not go next to the next to the car if this doesn't trigger anything. We have a well, we don't have a great backup plan here if uh, if this triggers aliens. Okay. But uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, that's good. We have a flanking side to whoever comes in here if they do, and uh, we have cover here. Okay, we, we don't need two guys on that side. It's not that great. I thought there would be more cover. More cover for us, so it's not that good. I think I will... I will wait one turn here, just without moving at all. Uh, to get her in better position. Okay, there's full cover there, so that's good. And of course, when we go beyond, there could be even more, but that's that's great. That is really good. I like that. So let's see if we trigger aliens in with the next move. Let's take... Let's take you to this full Head cover first. Location. Still no one. I like that position for my sniper. So we'll take that next turn. We'll stay here for now. Uh, actually, you can come. Oh, you'll just take that next turn. Let's wait. Since we are not making any noise, it is unlikely the aliens would come and find us. It's not impossible. But um, I think what I will do now is I will get the sniper in position. And like I will move you just here. Let's see if that does anything. It didn't. Okay, good. Then uh, let's get the sniper in here. Uh, sniper potentially, if we go from this side, like sniper could come to this corner as well. But we'll see how that goes. The support. Uh, let's see. Do we want to? Are we okay engaging this turn? 
I would like you to be in a better position, so I think we are just waiting. We are just waiting here. On Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Um, together with Outsider, it's at least two sectoid groups. So for a total of four groups in a way. I doubt there will be three groups of sectoids, but uh, it's of course not impossible. Okay, let's uh, let's try to trigger some aliens uh, in some way. Uh, but how do we how do we want to do this? If we if we go too close here, we will see the outsider together with sectoids possibly. Uh, and whenever we trigger trigger them from this side. Uh, it would make them take cover behind the thing, and we don't have rockets, and that's just horrible. That's why I want the flanking angle, but if I run here, they might, like, go all the way, like, behind here and everything, and just making that horrible. Um, um, oh, you know what? Oh... There's a, there's a pipe here that we could get, like, a high advantage from that side. I think that's way better than where we are right now. It's way better. Uh, it's health cover shots, but it could really help to clear the back. Uh, ideally, I would, like, uh, I would trigger the aliens from this side. Like from here, from the positions where we are now, I would trigger them from here, and then uh, they would take cover in a way that these guys would have flanking shots. Uh, so I will kind of try to do that a little bit by taking the sniper around. But then if they trigger a group, that will get really hairy. Hmm. It's, it's not great when we are so limited with options. It's not great. Thinking should the sniper be like in here in the end. Sniper also has a grenade, so they kind of uh, these this rookie and the sniper need to be in front and uh, her as well. Uh, I will try this flanking. No, this this is the most likely move to trigger trigger them. So let's see. Uh, let's take the, uh, the support a little bit to the side here. Right. If were, I'm okay with this. A being of almost pure energy. I'm okay with this. Especially because I don't think we I don't think we triggered it. This is both good and bad. Both good and bad because I think we will. Uh, I'm not sure. If, yeah, I'm not sure if we activated it, but uh, if we, if we did, it will come and it will have that stupid 100 aim shots coming our way. Uh. I want her to go with support, so I will take her here and hunker down. And the other two will take overwatch shots just in case we activated it. Uh, wait, let's see where I where I want you. You could rush in there for grenade next turn, so you are with your super high movement you are okay Moving already. Overwatch. Okay, I kinda hope we didn't activate it, and we just know where it is. But, uh, let's see. Okay, we did. No, we didn't. It's not active. It's not active. That means... How far are we from it? Like, exactly? One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, and maybe seventeen tiles. Then it would be one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, fourteen, seventeen. I think this is far enough to not trigger it. Let's see if this gets sectoids. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power. I remember they have six six hit points. I brought your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Okay. I like this. Because we can go for a flank. So I think you will join her. Moving to position. On Overwatch. Roger that. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. I'm hoping we get the sectoid so we know where they are. Uh, if I trigger them from this side, then I would like to have someone close enough to go and throw grenades or even two. That thing needs to die on the first turn. There's like no, no coming back from that. I think this move here does not trigger the, the outsider no matter what. So uh, I, will, I will do this. It didn't trigger any sectoids either, which is great. Uh, let's see if this triggers something. It didn't. Okay, even better. Uh, do I want the sniper to be here? Uh, and then try to do that in a way that the, the outsider takes like cover in here. We have a flanking shot chance already. If it hides somewhere in there, it's not great. <sighs> mm. The groups of sectoids is what I'm worried about. We could even approach the outsider like in here, but then uh, triggering sectoid groups is more than likely. I think I will swap... I think I will swap the support to here and see what happens. Yeah, that's good. I wish they moved. I wish the sectoids would move. The outsider, outsider won't, but uh, Contact. yes, yes, thank you, thank you, yes, kills, amazing, only two sectors also, yes, 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 just like that, beautiful, beautiful, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, we are literally, we are like half a tile away from activating the, activating the outsider. Uh, we have really good health cover shots on that guy. Uh, so we are taking these all, I think. Oh, that was good. I'm so happy about that. Will we... We are in full cover against one sectoid who's active, so we are just taking shots. Uh, wait, I, I will move the support in a firing position first so i think they can fire from here if we move back or from here but this is one tile closer so it would activate the outsider uh support might not see from here but i will check if they do okay they don't so let's uh let's start taking shots let's try with the uh, sniper first uh because we want kills for them I will do it with the headshot to uh, see if we could get a kill. Not even Target close. Um, we don't have a grenade yet. Um, as said, we are we are in full cover against sectoid, so I'm willing to take these. Uh, Willing to take these uh, shots here. Uh, she can't move much or we activate the outsider. So I'll have two overwatch shots in case that sectoid moves. Or it just fires on the ones it sees. Okay. 
it might have joined might have joined another sectoid group uh, I will overwatch for a couple of turns and see what happens then we reload and uh, do something else Okay, we have another shot at it. We are still in full cover, so again, we are still fine. Hey! Nailed him. Good, good. Very good. Let's reload. Oh, yeah. On Overwatch. And then, is everyone ready? Uh, no, Let's you, you reload. I was really fortunate in being in the exact spot where I spotted outsiders, so I now know the playing room I have. Um, if I had been playing the game a lot recently, I would possibly remember that with the first small UFO, and the outsider, would you have like three groups of sectoids? So like eight aliens in total. So I think we are missing. I'm I'm guessing we are missing one group of three sectoids uh, instead of more. But uh, let's see. Uh, because we got one sectoid group moving, we might get another one as well. But that was sectoid sound, so uh, we know they are here. I think I heard second sounds. Maybe I just heard that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's carefully move. So they are they are there. This blocks the lines of sight, so the support can go here. If, if there's sectoids there and I go there, I think I will... This is a possible move for flanking shots when it's active. And I might take that as, uh, as one move next time. Yeah, I think it might be the last one left. Um... Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. I think this triggers it. It's like it's one tile shorter than we were in here. With a quick calculation. Uh I think popping to this corner might be might be a good one as well. Like popping from somewhere in here and kind of getting them to hide on that side. So, will I try to do the run around or will I get you in here and then uh, we'll pop, pop from the other side, get you close so you can uh, kind of maneuver with, uh, with a flanking shot. On my way. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. This is not the worst move. Could potentially make it run that away. This is not the worst opening move. Uh, 
would most likely like run in there. Uh, still, ideally, I would come from here, but that's that's far fetching. If I if I trigger it from this side, it will take cover in a way that uh, these guys could have a flanking shot. So I think my my move next turn might be getting her here. I feel, Commander. I'm on the watch. Affirmative. Covering now. Affirmative. And then. <laughs> It is worth considering of even putting the sniper on Overwatch. Overwatch, because we will not be able to remove any cover where it is. Hmm. Would I try that? Like it could potentially get a shot if it comes here. Might also just run all the way in there. I don't remember exactly how their AI works, but then the support could have a, could have an angle on it. If it goes far, it is very dangerous. Okay, let's try this. Without Overwatch, in case we need to. This, this might not trigger it, but let's I'm see if it, it does. E.T. in sight. Engaging. Okay. Okay. The alien so it, flight computer could prove to be extremely It kind of did exactly... Please well, take great I, care in returning it to the base in one piece. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. I wanted to take cover on this side. But I think I have... I think I have two grenades for it now. Uh... So, so the question is the question is can we can we try to kill it without grenades and can we can we get this without destroying the navigation computer I don't like your grenade I don't like your 45% shot either Support doesn't have a grenade, sadly. We can't we can't let this outsider shoot, so that is that is not an option. From where you are, I don't think you can get the grenade in a place where the navigational computer is not destroyed. And I kind of need that loot. <laughs> uh, so I would avoid this. She can get and get grenade anywhere. Uh, the sniper can probably get a pistol shot out. We find an angle for it. It's a little tricky. I think I think this I think we can get a shot from here. And we are killing it with two grenades if everything else fails. Got it. Let's go for that. Uh, 37%. It's not getting better because we are not removing that cover. So let's just take that. Actually, yeah, let's take no. Let's take the shot with the support first. Take a shot with the support first, and then uh, then we go for the grenades, depending on how their shots are. And we are destroying that navigation computer if everything else fails. So you are throwing grenade anyway. I'm on the move. 
Another sectoid, a sectoid group would have... Oh, come on. Really? You son of a... Son of an asshole outsider. You went to a spot I can't kill you with a grenade without destroying the navigational computer. What an asshole. <laughs> Shit. That is... That is royal amount of bullshit. If that, if this, if this not being intact makes me not not afford enough satellites, this was the smartest alien, <laughs> smartest alien move ever. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not happening. It's not happening. Yeah. That is, uh, I, I don't really know how how and why it does that, but kind of we don't even need to be close to that. But it, it did say, well, Dr. Valen did say that let's be careful with explosives in there. So I think this is that playing part, so we don't even need to touch it. And it's it's dead, but uh, we can, we can uh, just destroy it. And um, yeah. Yeah, there's no way around it, sadly. So then we have, if this does two damage, that would be a kill. But uh, let's see. Hey, we got it. Chalk nice. One. I honestly didn't remember that it's only five aliens. I was taking this. I was I was taking this in a way that we would have eleven. <laughs> I was playing this like we had eleven. Uh, I'm not sure if that's always the case that you have five. Because it's the first and you have the outsider. But yeah, I, I played this. I played this so carefully. <laughs> uh, but sometimes sometimes you have to do that. Yeah, we would have not played that carefully. If uh, if I knew that. The sniper got the kill. Yeah, that's good. The super, super movement. Rookie was an assault, just like I hoped. So Hellwraith with 18 tile, at least if they, they might even get more, 18 tile run and gun after this, compared to the 14 uh, of the standard. The this is brilliant. As our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last they ones out. They, they got additional aim on the level up, but they didn't get the quite crucial hit points. So the hidden potential randomness kind of playing both ways here. Really good aim, but uh, didn't get the hit points. Uh, we got another support. Mm. Any any squad, any upgrade is great, but uh, support is the one I need the least. Getting another heavy here would have been brilliant, brilliant but uh, it is what it is. They got the hit point, so that's great. Uh, their aim increased. I think they were at 70, so they increased for uh, 74, so that's, that's good as well. Good, good. Yeah, I, I sense hell rate being a pretty badass soldier for us in the long run, if we keep them alive. Right, you do need to... I do want to remember those... Uh, those metals as well. So assault, they are wearing white. And uh, machine support wearing red. Uh, let's see about uh, hairs and helmets. Do we have a... Uh, no, let's not change the head. Uh, so we had 12 originally. I don't mind that, but... Uh, Like having to having to assault with some sort of a some sort of a helmet. I think I, I think I like that look. I think that's uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, do we have uh, something that's others? Support not wearing not wearing anything. I'm okay with that as well. Uh, it's quite similar look to yours, although you are redhead. So let's uh, let's keep that away. Um, 
the heavy. Heavies always gets a helmet, right? No, okay, they don't. Let's put uh, let's put one on little Wolvix here. A little bit of customization. I kinda think a little bit of time to load those in. So that is that is not a bad look either. I kind of like that. Still seeing their face and uh, just having just having the gap there is pretty good as well. Okay, that's the that's the gap in front. Although this uh, this one here is like the. I feel it's the most heavy look, so let's go for that one for the first heavy. Uh, seven days to get uh, get Vulpix back. Uh, we might get a council mission before that happens, but um, yeah, that was uh, that was all right. But now uh, we might even get we might even get some additional stuff before the before the eleventh when we need to order the satellites. But let's see how much loot did we get from that. Several members of the council have expressed an interest in and how far would we be? We However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value. Okay. Yet. Okay. So grenading it. Grenading it only costed us 20. We still got it damaged. But let's see how close to Uh, 300 and... How much is it? 300 and... Three hundred and eight. Uh, workshop is cons Workshop is cute. Workshop is cute because the abduction happened to have exactly on the seventh day as well. So it was... Uh, Past, just past midnight on the 7th, and we got the UFO on the same day. So we have the workshop on the way to the 17th, so satellite rush strategy is a go. But uh, let's see how close to the 308 we get. Commander, the artifact we're about to sell to the Council hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Voland would be disappointed if we put financial... Uh, so we need two, two free... Two, three, eight. We did the Sino biology already, so we don't need sectoids immediately. So we could even sell all. Maybe leave one for the autopsy, just in case we get really unlucky. And that's already that's on only free off. So we need alloys and fragments early. So I think this would this would already do it. This would already do it. Uh, the uplink happens on the 17th, so for for that we will sell whatever we need to get that running, but we we should get a council mission before that. Um, yeah, this would already do it. Would already do it, and uh, you if you do the settle if you do the satellite rush, you 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 need to do this. I'm just now. I'm so. I'm so terrified <laughs> of the geoscape, and because it Nothing moves. To at the moment. Boards are clear. Because it moves so freak freakishly fast, so that we don't run past the eleventh. But we have automatic break on the ninth, <laughs> so I will take that before I sell, and then we'll try to pause the game on the eleventh. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. Mm, I'm loving to see these cutscenes. We did see these once already in the failed attempts, but... Uh... Close range. And what happens if it doesn't work? 
Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility That's perfect. To house perfect sweater is amazing. But I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Uh, we can we can order the satellites already and just start building them. The the min maxing thing here would be that uh, I would see if I get a council mission, so I don't need to sell that much. But I think I will just not risk my <laughs> my ability to pause the game on the correct date. So uh, we'll uh, we'll get the weapon fragments weapon fragments going. Uh, let's just see what we need here. So we need ten weapon fragments. We have the meld. Um, we are not gonna do not gonna do these anytime soon and we need one one sectoid for the autopsy and we will be getting more sectoids so let's do the weapon fragments next because uh, we got we got pretty good loot from the ufo so we are we are good with that I'm still so let's begin that and uh, let's just let's just get the satellites done with because i i'm stressing about it so much right now that uh, yeah, let's just let's just sell the sectoids and now. Uh, there must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. So I that is that is three hundred and eight. Try to bring one of those things back here in one piece, much less alive. Three hundred and eight, and then we are gonna get auto pause when the workshop workshop gets here. Hopefully, we get more money before that, so that we don't need to sell stuff for the uplink, but we will if we need to. So let's get the satellites satellites ordered. Um, so I will do four of these, but I will order them one at a time. Just in case I would actually need to cancel cancel any of these. But uh, satellite rush strategy is a go. Uh, at least for now. So we need we need 100 100 for that one. Uh, the engineers will come from from the workshop, which is which is coming on time, and we have exactly the exactly the power for the satellite uplink as well. So if if nothing else happens before the 17th, we would be going here and just selling alloys and illyrium, whatever we need to get the satellite uplink. Hopefully, we don't need to do that because this this is the this is the stuff you are short of in the long run, illyrium and alloys. But selling one illyrium for the satellite is completely fine. But I don't want to sell these, but we will if we need a hundred. Because in the long run, getting the credits from the country staying in XCOM is so. Uh, so much more valuable okay let's see uh what happens next do we get the council mission when do we get it and is it bomb disposal <laughs> because we are 100 percent skipping that if it is commander we're receiving a transmission from the council okay Coming let's see screen. I, maybe I should have tested my ability to pause the game on the on the eleventh, but uh, but we didn't because we already ordered it order. Ah, okay, this is good. This is good. Scientist is good. Panic reduction is good. One thirty five is excellent. So we are we are doing that. Let's just go and check out of curiosity. Uh, South Africa has a little bit of panic and I think the council mission at least if you fail it it will increase the panic in the whole continent but if you if you succeed I'm not sure if one will be taken away from the Egypt or not Yeah, 
Yeah, the because the well, the XCOM XCOM console. This is the death timer in this game. So if you lose if you lose too many countries, that's game over. And keeping countries in is more money for the upcoming months. So that's why I prefer the satellite rush in the beginning. Uh, on impossible, it enables you possibly to have all the all the country all the countries still in. On lower difficulties, you don't need to do it because you don't need four satellites in the first month, depending on how the missions and we if we get second abduction, which is which might not happen because it's one or two a month. Um, then more places will panic and we will potentially select the abduction mission based on the panic. Uh, because the red ones will be the ones where we want the satellites to go to, so we might be able to spread the panic kind of nicely. But South Africa will get panic reduction, which is great. On a successful mission, of course. Um, I was thinking of... Uh, ending the stream here before but uh I, I actually had a pretty good nap before the stream so i'm feeling energized so we will continue playing but i will take a break here and i did forget 17 minutes ago to say very happy new year to everyone in the western europe so uk uk france portugal wherever you are watching there if you just passed into the 2024 happy new year to you and of course to anyone who's already there cheers everyone but yeah let's have a let's have a break here and let's do that council mission today or now <laughs> and then uh, i will continue on this new year's day uh on date i more or less i will sleep and uh, start the stream about 10 a.m uh, utc but uh Let's have a break now. Those of you watching on YouTube, you know what to do. The next part is on the playlist. Hopefully you are already already watching through the playlist, so you don't need to do anything. Just keep on playing. And uh, I will see you on the next part. And uh, those, those of you watching live, just uh, just a few few minutes.